Good morning from the cabin in the woods. I'm gonna make this a quick intro, man, because we're rushing the guys. I'm just waiting for them to come out. We've got transport ready for us. We're gonna see Santa Claus, man. <laughs> Look at a whip. Look at a whip. Look at a setup. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> MTV. MTV. <laughs> we don't do things by half measures. So. Quickly, we've partnered up with Visit Rov and Yemi. I've been in touch with the PR lady, uh, Salah, there for a little while. And when I was coming <laughs> over here with some friends, of course, I had to reach out. She's made an awesome itinerary for us today. We're going to go and explore Santa's village, see the reindeers, meet Mrs. Claus, hopefully, and check out the whole area, then grab some lunch. Then we've got igloos this evening. It's just going to be a hectic day. I'm going to try and document as much as possible, and I'm very excited for it. Okay, if you're not ready for Christmas, after watching this vlog, you definitely will be. We've touched down at Santa Claus Village. There's about 50 independent traders, uh, Salah was saying in here. But of course, we're gonna see the big man first, take some photos, get it done. We've got a little private access before we go in. So we're getting in there before the public, man. We've got links with Santa Claus now. See, we have these elf doors to take a sneak peek what the elves are doing. Okay. <laughs> for example, behind that door, we have the gift delivery terminal. So there's still 46 days until Christmas, so these presents will go to the terminal before Christmas so we don't lose them. So we've got one of the elves leading us round. Bit of banter, good banter going round. And we've got here the time regulator. It's kind of like a time machine. You know when Santa Claus is going out on his visits and he's got to drop all the presents off? This helps us slow down the world. So you know when you experience it and the kids are saying, is Santa here, is Santa here? It's going a bit slower this year because you've got to go and deliver all the presents on that night. I told you she had banter. We've got a little wall of fame here. She said, she said to Danny, are these your friends? <laughs> Look at this. Casey nice at the top as well. Someone the boys. For you over here. Oh, <laughs> here we go. Yeah, man, come on, come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> don't be shy, don't be shy. What's your name? Danny. Charlie. Oh, uh -huh. Charlie. 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 Let's start. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Scotland, remember to be good. Yeah, we do our best. I yeah, we try our best, we try our best. <laughs> that takes you far. <laughs> Sometimes not even cold. What a way to start a day. That's probably the best start to a day maybe I've ever had in my life. Big tick on a bucket list. We met Santa. Santa was dropping some banter as well. He was saying, don't light your fire up to six days before Christmas because I don't want to mess up my gear. He was saying, make sure you put like the right stuff out. And we've ended up in a gift shop. If you don't buy a souvenir from Santa's village, when are you ever going to buy a souvenir? What you got, Joshy? Well, I have to. A little bow, a little dicky bow tie. <laughs> My Irish. Yeah, it's true, it's true, it's true. Cold. Danny's done me a solid. She's found the Moomin gear. I don't know how much I'm going to be spending here, but we have to take something. Moomin magnets. That's a bit of me. <laughs> <laughs> that was like an X Factor entrance. Hot back and forth. Oh, magical. Look at this. Straight out into the snow. Look at this. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's actually snowing fairly heavy, man. It's probably landing on the camera and messing up the video, but look, this is ridiculous. Unreal, man. Fuck. Absolutely beautiful. This is unreal, man. Where are you going to halfway? Look. Go on, Joshie. This is sicker. Look at this. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Salah was just explaining to me the line here is to show the Arctic Circle. So right now, we're standing in the north of it. And let me look at this temperature gauge, man, because my fingers are starting to get a little numb with no gloves on. Minus two. It's not too bad today. Got my thermals on top and bottom. Got scarf, hat and gloves in my pockets just in case. Salah was saying you're lucky because you got snow, but sometimes it gets as bad as minus 25. I'm down here on my knees doing photo shoots for these lot, man. <laughs> I'm going to drop in the shots right now. The ice queens. The ice queens. And I need an ice cream. <laughs> Definitely not. That was a joke. Definitely not. It's freezing. Quick fun fact after the photo shoot. I know we love to drop a bit of information in the vlogs. This here, the Roosevelt Cottage, was the first ever cottage here in Santa's Village. It came in 1950. So from this, to the whole premises. Pretty far from home right now, guys. <laughs> so it's all exciting. We've come into the post office where all the letters get sent to Santa. There's a normal mailbox where you can send it any time of the year. It'll get here as soon as possible. And then there's the Christmas one, especially for Christmas, wish list and letter to Santa. Sorry, can you say that again? How many around Christmas? Around 30,000. Per day. Per day. Every day. Every day. So it's Busy elves. Said about 30,000 letters a day around Christmas. Yeah, and the top countries at 
the mob. Someone wanted to send Santa a bit of help with the beard. Yeah, make sure he's all green. Sh yeah. Nice. Look at this little cabinet here. So this is the gifts that have been sent to Santa. They yeah. Uno reverse carded it. And look at this, my favourite man. <laughs> little box of dummies. They call them like pacifiers in the States. But the kids give up to give to the baby reindeers when they're born in Lapland. Okay, so seeing as I'm here, I'm gonna have to write my letter to Santa, aren't I? You can buy postcards, as you can see, there's absolutely loads of them. They're all around a euro. And then you buy a normal postage stamp, which is two euro, and chuck it in the box. Let's see what I can wish for this year. Dear Santa, hope you're good. I'd love nothing more than a puppy for Christmas, preferably a Pomeranian. If not, then a new narrowboat would be fine. Thanks a lot, Charlie. I feel like that ain't asking too much, you know? Guy's busy, but let's see what he can do. Look at me, I'm like a child. Of course it has to go in the Christmas mail. <laughs> Epic fail by the way, Josh just said. <laughs> Josh just reminded me, I've already met Santa about five minutes ago. I didn't need to do the wish list man, I just told him what I wanted already. But he has no, he has no social media, so... True. I can't tag him on Insta, so I have to actually write him a letter. We're old school out here in Lapland. And just like that, we've come back out. No snow now, it's brightening up. Look at this. Woo-wee. Treading on the freshly laid snow now making prints. We're going to go and check out, hopefully, the reindeers, Mrs. Santa, and then maybe the huskies. And I've heard somewhere around here, there's a moomin shop. Whoa, that's a bit of me. We'll get in there in a minute, but first, we're queuing up for the reindeers. Josh, no dancing on the Slayer. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no wrestling with them. No feeding them candy and carrots. No Usain bolting it down the road. No karaoke. Here's the boys. Jokes aside, it's probably a lot of me talking too much here, but I just gotta say, we couldn't have got better weather. What a touch. Like, a little bit of snow on the ground. It's cold, but not too cold. I haven't even got my gloves on. It's absolutely beautiful. Blue skies, clear, no rain. Rob and Yemi, we've smashed it so far, man. Yakala, in Finnish. Thank you very much, that's lovely. This is where I'm gonna just lose my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> nice bit of vegan lunch, get into that. <laughs> Gotta feed the reindeers. <laughs> That is the cutest thing. I've got some here, man, a little bit. There you go. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> oh, I'm not even interested, man. He's just mugged me right off. <laughs> this is mine. This is my leftover. Just a little bit, bro. Not? not interested. No? No. <laughs> Over it. Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> right, okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's difficult, isn't it? <laughs> he's mugged me off, man. As soon as the camera comes on. He's camera shy, this guy. I'll eat it myself. What a cool experience, man. The guys are just wrapping up over here, taking photos of stuff. What? Like, this wasn't even something I would think of on my bucket list, like feeding reindeers in Lapland, but I'll absolutely take it. It's snowing as well. Yeah, I think it's nearly lunchtime, though. For me, <laughs> not just the reindeers. I've got no food left, buddy. Don't come now, I've got no food left. Right, that's me for the night, lads. <laughs> I'll save going back to the wood cabin. Oh, I'll take it. A little bit of warmth in here. Get a fire going. Get some toast on the go. Oh, my fingers are feeling it now, though. Let's get inside. Will you walk us there? Just realised, actually. Didn't see Rudolph. But he's probably busy around this time, so we'll let him off. I'll be back. <laughs> here we go. All right, we're going in to meet Mrs. Claus. That's what I'm gonna call her, Mrs. Claus. No videos on this one, but I'll get you a few snapshots. Hey. Hello. <laughs> Look at that. Hey, buddy. Oh, what's hi. this? Oh, what's this? Oh, so <laughs> the girls, oh, so the girls are loosening it over the dog. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they always think it's a toy. Oh. Look at this guys, I am about to be in my element. I've lost the guys because they wanted to quickly go and look at the huskies, which we may be doing tomorrow, but if not, they wanted to quickly go and take some photos. Salah's brought me down because there is a Moomin shop, so I've got to go inside and have a look. I just love them, I don't know why. Okay, so for anyone that loves Moomins, <laughs> this is heaven. There is everything you can think of with Moomins on it. In case you haven't gathered, <laughs> Moomins are originally from Finland, so they're a big deal over here. You see them everywhere, and I love the little mugs, so I've literally just spotted it as I'm talking. So I love these little colourful enamel ones, little pastel code ones, but the guys were just telling me here, they've got these limited edition winter ones with a cool little cartoon feature going around the side. 
And they're limited edition, there's only 2,000, so <laughs> look at me geeking out. Who would have thought I'd come all the way to here and get excited by a winter Moomin mug? I had no shot, literally. Now I'm just like... <laughs> So we secured a little magnet for the camper everywhere we go. Of course we've got to get a souvenir. And now it's lunchtime. Epic lunch spot. I'm going to whisper because there's a lot of people eating. The place is called Korondi and it's a buffet. All you can eat. Of course the guys are getting stuck in already. I can't keep up with them. Camera's going down. I'll get a bit of B-roll of the food. <laughs> Alright, walking off lunch. We've got two ahead. We've got four behind. We're heading now to uh, Articum Museum. I think it's a museum about like uh, Lapland and the Arctic Circle and stuff like that. So it should be pretty cool. A little bit of information coming in. The girls back there trying to set the world to rights. Look at them. I'm just trying to keep warm to be honest. Gloves are on now. Gloves are fully on. It's getting chilly here. Let's hit this museum. Okay, this is the bit where I try and act clever, but really I'm just repeating facts. So we've got a tour guide here, as you can see, Frank, relaying information. I'm gonna go around, get you some shots, and hopefully hit you with some interesting information. Here you go, this is actually a quick bit of interesting information for you. Right here, you've got the ring of the Arctic Circle, surrounding the North Pole mainly, and up here, at the top of Scandinavia, is Lapland. So anything within the Arctic Circle that's at the top of this ring is classed as Lapland, and we are, of course, in the Finnish Lapland, which is everything around this little area in the town or city of Rovaniemi. So, you learn something new every day. Lapland actually crosses four countries. You've got Norway, Sweden, Finland, and a little peninsula of Russia. This is kind of cool. It's like an old setup to depict a market trade stall back in the day. This guy here has got like a woolen jacket on that's made of six wolf skins. I like it, but not sure how vegetarian friendly it is. And Robin Yemi was most popular back in the day for probably fish, because there's a lot of good fishing going on here. And of course, yes, fur and wool trade. Life-size moose. One, I've chosen my animal that I want to ride into battle if I ever need one. Two, he said it's not uncommon for these to just walk out in the middle of the road as you're driving 70 kilometers an hour. If you hit one, you're pretty much knackered. Because if you hit the legs, the moose is just going to come on top of the car. So if you do ever see one and you're driving through Lapland and a moose walks out in front of you, aim for the rear end so that at least you can kind of hit it and spin off, hopefully, rather than just have the whole thing crush you on top of your car. A few bowls and spoons carved out of reindeer bone. A very cool dude cruising across the snow with his little dog on the front. And an old traditional hut that the old people in Lapland used to live in. Obviously, there would be a bit of fabric on the top. <laughs> So we've just come into a cinema room now. Hopefully you can see me where they've got a huge display on. We're the only ones in here. And it's showing like the midnight sun, which I'll explain to you in a minute. It's showing a lot of the landscape of Lapland and obviously all the nature and animals that you can catch out in the wild. Just saw that last clip there. That's about as close as we've got to the Northern Lights so far, but fingers crossed on this trip, we're gonna see something, even one tenth of that in real life. As for the midnight sun, it's something that happens in Finland where because it lays north of the Arctic Circle, in summer, the sun doesn't set. It pretty much stays light for 24 hours a day. Obviously it dims a little bit, but there is no darkness. And I've actually experienced that once in Helsinki. So although that's below the Arctic Circle line, you still get the midnight sun. I would love to experience it up here and just see how insane it is not having any darkness. That is the absolute dream, to capture something like that on camera for myself. Oi, oi, oi. Fuck me, we've come out and it's pitch black. Here he is, boss man. In the... We don't mess around around here, man. I'm half asleep. But we've got a six man taxi. We're going back. Sauna, shower, chill. Home sweet home. It's looking a bit dark and gloomy up there. Home sweet home. So this is where it all gets manic and people just run around every room. They're still trying to figure out how the washing machine works from last night. For me, it's sauna time. Look at the boys. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Welcome, welcome to Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> Quick, quick sauna one, me and Josh. This is taking me back to Princess Cruises when we were in the jacuzzi together. Oh yeah! <laughs> Deja vu, man. And that was 
saying that we keep doing romantic stuff. Yeah, together. yeah, this is a bit weird. There's like four girls out there, there's just us two and it together. Not sure what's going on, lads. Camera's going down. I've just run upstairs, absolutely dripping. We've been in there about an hour. I need a shower, a shave. Good times, I know me and Josh are just chatting there for hours, man. We get on so good, good company. We've actually hit like six or seven countries together this year. If you count the cruise, we've done Madeira, went to Edinburgh, like we, we've been traveling more than a normal couple. So we're, we're definitely in that stage right now where we're comfortable with each other. And right now it's time to shower off and then we're going out for an awesome dinner. You're gonna love this. And we go again. Yes, I've got the key. Us, man, we've got no time management here. The taxi's been outside about 10 minutes. We're off. <laughs> As they run out the door, I've got to get your footage though because we're two for two on the Polaroid so far. Look at them, absolutely beautiful. Lovely, that's lovely, thank you very much. Okay guys, we have come down to a restaurant back in Santa's village where we were earlier, called the Three Elves. It was lovely inside, but they've reserved us outside in an igloo. Are <laughs> hey, you right there, Josh? <laughs> 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 right. Oh, probably Straight to open to yeah. a vegan Beyond steak. We'll take it. I'm going with the back end right here, but look at that, big vegan steaks coming in. Cheers guys, big cheers, 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 cheers. cheers. <laughs> Go on, Danny. Bon appetit. <laughs> not sure. It's not bad. It's like it's good, but I'm trying to identify like what. What meat? Have you tried venison? Give us an out of ten for the reindeer. Uh, an eight. Oh, that's high, man. Yeah, nice, yeah. nice. So that's like not it. bad. There you go, Finland. There's your content. <laughs> <laughs> this is the setup. We have to go outside, but to the shed. Oh, you can't see it. I don't know if there's even a light in here. Oh, for the big stuff, look. The big bags of dry wood will take it. Oh, here we go. Welcome to Finland. What a supply, by the way. You can tell we're in the forest. And you can tell we're in the middle of nowhere because normally you go to a place like this, you get a wood burner with a little basket of logs for the weekend. We've got absolutely bags full. Look at the setup. <laughs> Maha, talk me through what's going on right now. Well, Charlie is actually getting his face painted. Tattoos. Josh, do you want to sh Tattoos. 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 No. This and, is the uh, reference photo. This, this <laughs> Charlie is, hasn't seen it yet. He doesn't know what he's getting on him, but this is what is... We're hoping the final result will be anyway. Well, okay. let's not get that hopeful. I don't know. <laughs> Can we just focus on the chain for a minute? Uh, that's a that's gangster. That's Carly gangster. Is cosplaying as me today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's taking all my drip. Graft. Uh, what, what, what graft? Sensational. Also, Sensational. Also, welcome to the vlog. At the start, you may have seen uh, Santa. <laughs> <laughs> now no, we're here. <laughs> this is the boy. Shout out to vis Visit Robin Yemi. Thanks for the, thanks for the support. This is after the water shed. <laughs> the outtakes. All kids switch Sorry. off. Santa, I'm gonna kill my mom. He's like getting interviewed and he does like a gun noise. He's like, what are you saying about that? <laughs> am, I, am I fresh out of prison? I reckon I, grab a, grab a photo. We'll check a photo out on the dating apps. Can we just get, go on. What are you saying? Good, good look. The cross, yeah. Strong look. I'm re not really sure what's going on, man. I'm just here for people's entertainment. I'm just letting them absolutely take over, but we rock it. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is not how I saw the night turning out. It took a complete turn. We were just having desserts in an igloo, and uh, now I'm full on. I've even got the... Guys, I don't know how we got here. <laughs> the night's just taking a complete all over the place route. It's 3 a.m. Me and Marge are just chilling, catching up. <laughs> we got her on the vibe. I want to kill my mom. Oh, also, quick before I end the vlog, look at this. I think it's pronounced Kirirem Piereka. Apologies if I got it wrong, Finnish people. Um, that's a traditional Finnish snack. I'm going to get into that and go to bed. And that is where the audio cut out of my sign out in Finland. So, basically, what I'm saying here is it's three in the morning. I'm knackered. I'm going to go to bed. Hopefully, you're enjoying the vlogs. Ignore anything that the guys are saying in the background because they're just chatting rubbish. Catch you on the next one. We've got a couple of days in Finland, so there'll definitely be at least one more vlog. Good night. Mm -hmm.